just a normal kid. Oh, Eric, you're a normal kid who killed your parents. The Netflix show Monsters, the Eric and Lyle Menendez story, attempts to tell the infamous story of the Menendez brothers' case, but it gets so much wrong. I don't know if anyone can be portrayed fairly in the media, who they are. The real-life trial was filled with emotional moments, but the show glosses over most of this, leaving viewers with a far more shallow version of the truth. Why did you kill your parents? Because we were afraid. Why did you kill your parents? Because we were afraid. In the show, Lyle is depicted as losing his hair at 20, but in reality it started at 14, a detail that isn't just cosmetic. It shows the psychological pressure he was under as a kid. How old were you when you started noticing that you were losing some hair? I think 14. Another clear sign of abuse that the show ignored is how Lyle still played with stuffed animals and wet the bed as a teenager. Or punish me about the bed wetting. Sometimes she would rub my face in the sheets. She'd refuse to change the sheets. She'd abuse my stuffed animals. I remember one time she just threw them all out the window. The real life case also had Dr. Ann Burgess, a renowned forensic psychologist, interview Eric. You could see how hard it was for him to get it out. She concluded that his actions were rooted in long-term fear caused by abuse. The show didn't include her findings at all. A lot of these drawings that the father and the son are in Eric's bedroom which I thought was a very unusual place. Jose, the boy's father, was accused by Roy Rossello, a former member of the Menudo group, of taking advantage of him. The show also completely ignores this. Yo no podía reaccionar porque eso me estaba tomando cuenta de mi cuerpo. Me drogaron. The show paints Jose in a far too sympathetic light, despite being vilified by almost everyone who knew him in real life. I would trade my entire defense for a 30 second video of my father. The show also twists Lyle's trial testimony. It's just my story. Explain what it's felt like my whole life to be Lyle Menendez. There's just no way that anybody would say that I deserve to go to prison. The series suggests Lyle lied on the stand, but in reality he claimed, I'm gonna be myself on the stand. I'm a product of what happened to me. I just told him that I didn't want to do this <laughs> and that it hurt me. The show even goes as far as to imply that Eric and Lyle had a romantic relationship with one another, despite there being zero evidence of that. Our feeling was not, we'll just explain what happened and it'll be okay. Our, we were very uh, stunned. In real life, Eric wrote a letter to his cousin Andy, discussing his fear of his father long before the murders took place, a huge piece of evidence the series overlooks. He asked me if uh, my dad ever gave me massages. And did you understand at that point what he meant? No, I didn't. While the show does mention their spending spree after the killings, it leaves out how it was a way to distract themselves from the trauma and the guilt they were feeling. It got to a point where I have, I have all this money and so much pain, I don't know what to do with it. The show shifts the focus away from the abuse and makes the brothers seem like unreliable narrators, undermining the real reasons behind their actions. You're not chickening out, are you? Hopefully one day, the story of the Menendez brothers gets the justice it deserves.